Welcome to this quick walkthrough of BrowserStack test reporting and analytics. This is an all-in-one platform for all your test reporting, debugging and analytics needs. It works for every kind of test from UI to API to unit tests, no matter where they run, even if they run outside of BrowserStack. Let's take a look at the tool in action. So firstly, I can see a list of all of my different runs here. Now the first thing that you can do with the build level reports are you can see every single test that ran but most importantly, you get to see the problem tests up front. Debugging each of these tests will be painful, but now with this tool, I can quickly see which of my tests were flaky and therefore might need some attention. I can even mute tests to basically say, no, I'm not gonna look at these because I know what they are and maybe they're broken. I can see if there are any new failures that may require attention, and I can see if there are any always failing, potentially stale test cases. There are also a number of other unique widgets providing insight into the history, uh, providing analytics on a build. There are even configurable widgets. For example, you can set up alerts for certain quality metrics or take them further with a quality gate analysis to automatically verify builds. You can even inspect a build by errors rather than tests. For example, in this case, 83% of failures have been caused by just two actual unique errors in my test suite. The idea being I don't have to go and debug all of my failures. I can simply look at the error, see what all tests have been affected by the same error, debug a single test and keep moving. But with all of these useful widgets, all you have to do is simply click on any of the widgets and you can drill down and see a list of tests. Now let's go ahead and start inspecting tests. I can see that this particular test has failed and this is the error associated with it. I can also see that BrowserStack has flagged it as a flaky test because it breached the flakiness threshold configured. I can even see the history and actually see that it's been passing on and off. And I can also see that it's been auto-analyzed for me by BrowserStack's AIML analysis under the hood. What BrowserStack is able to do is learn from your testing activity. So if you go ahead and mark a failure reason for a test, like automation bug, it'll automatically analyze all of the logs associated with that test. And the next time we see a similar failure, we'll mark it for you. So you don't have to spend time debugging it manually. Let's go ahead and debug. I already know it's an automation bug, but it doesn't hurt to check. What I can see here is a full list of logs associated with this test and BrowserStack is able to capture every kind of log, all the way from your browser console, to terminal, to your test commands, to even network logs. I can move through the timeline and see exactly what was happening in a test, and I have a number of other useful metadata I can interact with as well. I can even upload attachments and uh, sort of debug with additional artifacts if required. I can jump back and forth in time and debug a past instance of this test as well. BrowserStack also offers an AI RCA feature which can analyze your tests, inspect all of the log elements, and suggest fixes either for your application or your automation test code. This makes the debugging and triage process seamless. A few other things you can do with BrowserStack test reporting and analytics is collaborate by commenting on test failures and tagging your colleagues. You can report a bug directly to Jira or Asana or Azure or any other popular bug reporting tool. And lastly, let's say I've analyzed this bug and I don't think it's an automation bug, but it's something else. I can simply look at this dropdown and update the failure category if required. And the next time we detect a failure, it will automatically be tagged with the right failure category. One great feature of test reporting and analytics is your ability to compare builds with other. Now let's say I want to compare this particular run with a previous run to understand if anything's changed. Have any new tests been added or have any tests that were failing in the last run been fixed now? Now organizations are going to be running tens if not hundreds of builds a day. So how does this tool aggregate all of those runs and provide rich analytical walkthroughs? Let's check them out. And there are a few out of the box dashboards I'd like to show you first. We'll start with the test health dashboard. This dashboard aggregates every single test run in a given time period. You can go ahead and filter and find exactly what tests you're looking for to see trends on those. And by the way, the same filters are applicable to the entire test reporting and analytics product. Every single screen you see is filterable and you can slice and dice to see exactly what you want. Now, I can use this view to find out which are my tests which are taking the longest time to run. 
which are the tests that are failing the most or have the absolute number of highest failures. And on one single click, I can see the entire history of a test and go ahead and drill down and analyze. And once I've found a run that I want to debug, in one single click, I can click to bring up the debugger and this basically helps me quickly understand what went wrong and take corrective action. Another really similar and handy dashboard is the Unique Errors dashboard. Very similar to Test Health, this dashboard aggregates every single error and stack trace that was seen in your test suite. And the idea is, with these two dashboards, you can go ahead and make proactive fixes. We recommend that users come here once a week or once every two weeks, if not more often, and study what's causing their tests to fail and use this to bring stability and performance back into their test suite. Another really useful dashboard is the Testing Trends dashboard. This gives broad trends on your different automation projects and helps you understand different key automation metrics like performance, stability, new failures, unique test cases, and more. These are just the out-of-the-box dashboard. Test reporting and analytics lets you build your own custom dashboards. With dozens of widgets to pick, you can go out and build your own widgets with custom data points and apply filters to see how your automation metrics are performing. This is an example of a fully built out dashboard with multiple widgets, charts, and data points available for quality leaders to inspect. What's great is the ability to, to drill down into a data point. For example, if I notice that new failures are suddenly spiking on a particular day, I can simply click on this data point and see what happened. And in a single click, I'm taken to the test health, unique errors, or the build itself directly to go ahead and debug further on a data point. So that was a quick walkthrough of the test reporting and analytics product from BrowserStack. With this, you'll be able to analyze your test failures up to 95% faster using smart reporting and AI-based RCA tools. You'll also be able to boost your automation stability and manage your automation health with rich analytics and out-of-the-box dashboards. And lastly, you'll be able to enable visibility of org-wide automation metrics and show the good work that QA teams are doing to move the quality of the product forward. Thank you 